guys, Mark here. Um, I'm currently sat on the outskirts of Peebles. Nice spot, got a lovely view. Look at that, over there. There's a trail behind me, uh, it's uh, called Janet's Bray. And it's one of my favorite places to ride in there. I'm gonna ride it in a bit after I've finished talking to you guys. I'm up here for the Tweedler Festival. I've uh, just completed the EMTB challenge, which was uh, put on by Bosch and Trek. Uh, it's like a seven stage uh, enduro. It's really good fun. Uh, tiring before anybody asks. And uh, I rode that on a bike a bit like this one, but not this one. And I'm gonna tell you about it in a minute. Uh, well, not about the whole bike, but about something that's on this bike. Now, if you wonder why I'm looking over my shoulder, it's because the thing that's on this bike that I'm gonna tell you about now is under embargo until the 28th of September. So if you're watching this before the 28th of September, then I could be in a bit of bother. Uh, but, uh, but anyway, can you see what's different about this bike? Just pan that round like that. You see? Well, I'll give you a clue. It's down here, it's the motor. We've got a new motor on this system, okay? And uh, I'll tell you about the motor. This is a new Bosch motor. It's called the CX Race, and it now supersedes the CX Line uh, motor, which was been there in their standard lineup for a few years. Uh, let me tell you about the CX Line first. That's a motor that provides 85 newton meters of torque and a maximum assistance of 340%. By that, it means that um, whatever you put in, it can provide an extra 340% of that. Uh, that's a maximum of, you've got, you've got all the different modes. You've got from eco to turbo, obviously. But this motor is a bit different. This motor is um, the CX race motor. Oh, we've got someone coming past in a minute, so just uh, chat amongst yourselves. Anybody uh, been watching the new Game of Thrones prequel? What do you reckon? Any good? No. Yeah. I've stopped. I really will get into bother if uh, anybody notices this. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to keep quiet. Come on, Chris. I better take one off that boat. I'm back now, they've gone. That got a bit awkward, didn't it? Um, anyway, yes, yeah, so where was I? I was telling you about this this motor. So this motor is um, the CX Race. Now, it's <sighs> although obviously Bosch, they've designed it to be an improvement on the CX line. Effectively, what it does is it adds another level of power that's above turbo. And that level of power is called race. So on this motor system, what we have is we have the lowest setting you can have is Tour Plus. Then you get EMTB. Then you get Turbo. And then you get race. And race gives you 400% assistance. So whatever you put in, it can provide an extra 400%. It's still an 85 Newton meters uh, total torque output. Uh, but yeah, so... It kind of screams spinal tap, doesn't it? It just, uh, it basically what we've got here is a motor that goes up to 11. Okay, now before you get carried away and go, Ugh, that's an ugly thing. This is, it doesn't have the actual brand cap on it. That's because um, uh, Bosch and Trek are so paranoid that people spot this that they've actually taken off the casing. So it looks like a horrible gray thing. So what's happened to Eco? Well, Eco seems to have disappeared. Well, Eco has been encompassed in this new mode, which is called Tour Plus. If you're familiar with EMTB mode, uh, what that does is it gives a power band that goes all the way down to Tour and then all the way up to Turbo. And it adapts the amount of power it puts in, depending on how much power you put in. Um, Tour Plus, what that does is that starts that power band a bit lower, so effectively at an eco level, and goes all the way up to EMTB mode, so you don't get the turbo level and you certainly don't get the race. Uh, EMTB mode only goes up to a maximum power output that's equivalent to turbo. Uh, you don't get the race level. I think we're safe. Um, you have to manually select the race option to get that extra 400% of power. So yeah, it, it's it's designed for what it says on the tin. It's designed for racing, which is what I've been doing. Now, don't 
belittle that idea of Mount EMTB racing because honestly I've just done it this weekend and it's it's remarkably hard it's remarkably challenging and it's uh, been tremendous fun so I've really really enjoyed it um, so I mean what it does is it allows uh, en traditional enduro courses to stop being just almost exclusively downhill courses when you get to a time segment so you can actually put in some fun uphill sections as well and then it comes down to not just the power that you've got but the skill that you've got as a rider to get up the climb so yeah it's, it's been great fun this motor is designed for this new developing sport of emtb racing and you'll hear all about it soon i'm out here for maybe another hour to ride it it's not long enough to really test it so we will be getting one of these motors into tests soon and i'll have much more to say on it then but until then I'll present to you bosch's new cx race motor Wait, there's something I forgot while well, there's no one around. Did I tell you how much it weighed? Yeah, this thing, it's got a new magnesium casing. So actually, as well as it providing an extra, you know, up to 400%, so it can get, you can get more power out of it. It's actually 200 grams lighter, which is fairly impressive engineering, it has to be said. So yeah, so it's the new motor system's actually like, now, the interesting thing is, uh, talking to the engineers today, is the bolt pattern on the frame is identical to the CX line, which, uh, yeah, I can hear you screaming. Wow, that means that my existing CX line, I could upgrade it to this? Well, technically, yes, you can, apart from the fact that, no, you can't buy one of these motors uh, uh, aftermarket. So, uh, certainly not at the moment. They, the, the quantities of these motors are actually being quite restricted by Bosch and limited to a certain number per brand. So there's not actually going to be that many of them appearing, certainly not in the uh, in this first uh, period of its release. Uh, we'll have to see how that develops. Uh, but I guess that makes it easier for brands to, they don't have to re-engineer their frames to be able to make models that have the CX race level on it. So there we go. I think I'm done now. Ooh. Just in time. We've got spectators. Yeah, Game of Thrones prequel. I haven't seen it. I've heard good things. It's pretty good. Let me know what you think. Is it something I should uh, invest my time in? All right. That's all now. See you later, guys.